just like you and many people around the world today, my family is almost out of paper towels and toilet paper. So today, we're gonna go try to find some. Gonna visit a couple stores. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. First stop, Public Supermarket. A very popular place to shop in the south. Okay, so I'm switching to the GoPro. Hopefully, the sound is better. I tried to fix it. Publix Food and Pharmacy. All out of toilet paper and paper products. And I'm not surprised. I just thought I may get lucky. I found these Chinet 40 Dinner Classic White Premium Napkins. And I think I'm gonna take one pack of them just in case I don't find anything else anywhere today. And I'll just take one just in case someone else might have the same idea. This, it looks like I found some lunch. It's been a while since I've had the opportunity to have some sushi. There it goes. There it went. It's lunchtime. Oh, I was trying to get these splinters out. Mmm. Hey, no, 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 no. They tried to eat my sushi. Bad burgs, my sushi. Here, you have some there. They gotta eat too, huh? I know what a friend would say right now. Shout out to Adam the Woo. Hitchcock would be most definitely proud. Welcome to my local neighborhood mall, the Countryside Mall. It actually has an ice rink in the center of it. You can actually ice skate inside the mall. I once saw John Travolta in there ice skating with his family. Over the last couple years, I've got a lot of question about my hats. If you've been following since the beginning, you might remember, but I didn't used to show my face. It was all narration. You just saw what I saw. And then gradually, I started getting more comfortable with the camera, and I decided to cover my head and my eyes and hide my mouth on camera. But I naturally needed a hat, and I was walking through this mall one day, a store called Lids. I walked into Lids and I purchased this. I'm Tampa J, so I think I needed a, or I thought I needed a Tampa Bay hat. And that's how it happened. And then later that year, as my YouTube channel started to develop and I, I turned the camera on my face, stop, I stopped not showing my face. My mom purchased me this hat as a Christmas gift. Shout out to mom, she's an awesome supporter of this channel. And dad too, he actually, it was his gift too. Shout out to mom and dad. And then Guy Harvey signed it in one of my Bush Gardens vlogs. And then I got another Tampa Bay hat. I thought it'd be cool to just kinda go back to the old school hat, support the Bay Area as I'm out vlogging. Normally you see me wearing this in like New York City or California. Whenever I go mobile, try to represent where I'm from. 
recently Key West. And here is my latest hat. Mom and Dad struck again. Thanks for the awesome Christmas present. This is my newest one. It's a little more crisp than the old one. This one's seen a lot of battle, a lot of weather, a lot of videos. So that's the story behind my hats. I also do wear a couple other hats that I just randomly just have in my car. Maybe I forgot these at home. And those all have a story as well, but maybe I'll tell those someday also. But welcome to the Countryside Mall, where I first bought my hat. All right, next attempt, Tarjay or what most people like to call Target. Now I'm putting good faith in this GoPro as I'm going into these stores. Hopefully the footage is coming out okay. If not, this is an experiment and it will be better next time. Good old GoPro. So tiny. I like it. Please keep a distance of six feet from those around you while you shop and at checkout. We appreciate your understanding. No go on paper towels and toilet paper. However, there is this one box of flushable cleaning cloths. I don't know how safe that is to flush though. I'm, I'm kind of scared. The pipes at home are very old. Next up, I'm gonna try my local Walmart neighborhood market. Looks like they barricaded the Exidor with the shopping carts. Trying to keep people at bay a little bit easier, helping them obtain a social distance. I'm sensing a trend. I do not know what I'm going to do, guys, but I got to think of something. There's always this option if we need it. That wouldn't be fair to all the babies, would it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, you got to have a sense of humor, especially at times like these. When will it end and where will I find the paper? Oh, the paper, the beautiful paper. It's a water world quote. If you've seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm quoting. Anyways, where will it end? Where will I find toilet paper and paper towels? Will it be today? Okay, so I'm going to check out my local convenience store to see if they have any paper towels or toilet paper. We'll see. and there either but I still wanted to help support local business by buying a coke and some candy well hello there Belle daddy's home ready to go for a walk yeah hold on Gotta do this first. I've been looking online to try to purchase some toilet paper and paper towels, but just like we saw at the stores, most all of it is sold out. And the stuff that is available won't be here till May. So I'm pretty sure you guys are running into this at home too. I'm pretty sure everyone's trying right now. But an alternative is I still have those napkins that I bought. There are those flushable wipes out there. I am probably have three to four rolls left. So in between the videos and going to work every day, um, I'll just stop when I can to see if I can come up with some. But I shall prevail. I will find me some TP. I will. <laughs> oh well. We tried. 
But thanks for coming with me. Appreciate you all being here. Hope you had a fun time. I hope you're doing well out there. Thanks for escaping with me. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching. I am Tampa J, and this is Bella. There's much ahead, my friends.